Good morning, friends. It's 8 a.m. in the morning, and I am Neha. And now let's begin our morning tales for July 13, 2019. So, guys, I have already mentioned that how can you go to our quizzes section in one of our previous morning tales. So, you can watch yesterday's or even a day before's morning tales in order to know the procedure to get to this page of our website. And now, without wasting any time, let us begin our morning tales for today with this first question. That is, where has world's largest metal dome been inaugurated? So it is quite important from exam point of view and this question also has a history of its own. So we will be discussing all those things a while later. But first of all, what is the answer to this question? So the answer to this question is option B, Ukraine. So out of these five options, it is option B, Ukraine, where this world's largest metal dome has been inaugurated. So it is 108 meters high metal dome. And this metal dome is the world's largest movable metal dome, which has been inaugurated in Ukraine. Now the project of building this metal dome was put into place in 2016 only and this metal dome covers the confinement which was built immediately after the power plant disaster in 1986. Now I said power plant disaster and this is the history of this question. So what has happened that in the year 1986 there was a nuclear power plant in Ukraine and it was divided in four reactors or four units and out of those four units, its fourth unit got accidentally exploded and that was considered as the world's worst nuclear accidents. So this is one of the worst nuclear accidents in the world history. So basically there is a city in Ukraine which is named as Chernobyl and in this area only this nuclear power plant was situated which got exploded in the year 1986 and this is the world's worst nuclear accident happened so far. And therefore, in order to cover the radioactive waves which are being emitted from this fourth unit, a confinement was built around it. And now, in order to cover this confinement only, this metal dome has been built. So, this metal dome covers this confinement which restricts the radioactive waves emitting out of this fourth unit. So, in short, you have to remember this thing only that the largest metal dome has been inaugurated in Ukraine and this metal dome covers the confinement of Chernobyl nuclear power plant which is located in Ukraine and the nuclear power plant has had witnessed the world's worst nuclear accident in the year 1986. Apart from this, the other information related to this question is that this metal dome has been built at an expense of 1.5 billion euros. And now why is this funding so important? This funding is important because it has been released by European Bank for Reconstruction and Development as well as it is sponsored by 45 countries. So that was all about this question. But do remember this thing that the world's largest movable metal dome has been inaugurated in Ukraine in the Chernobyl area. And now let us discuss our second question for today, which is... Where did the second India-Russia strategic economic dialogue take place? Quite important dialogue it is and recently it has been concluded. So from these five options, it is very evident that this economic dialogue took place in India only. Now the intriguing point is that in which city was it concluded? So there are five options, Guwahati, Chandigarh, Bangalore, Mumbai and Delhi. And out of these five options, it is the national capital that is Delhi where this strategic economic dialogue took place. So do remember this thing because this is the second edition of this strategic economic dialogue. Apart from this, the other important information is that the first ever India-Russia strategic economic dialogue took place in Russia itself. And now the task for you guys is that you have to tell me in which city was this first Russia-India strategic economic dialogue took place. So now a little more information about this dialogue. So this dialogue focused mainly on six areas. And what are those six areas? These six areas are 
ट्रांसपोर्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेकेंड इज एग्रीकल्चर एंड एग्रो प्रोसेसिंग सेक्टर थर्ड एरिया इज स्मॉल मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस फोर्थ एरिया इज डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फिफ्थ इज ट्रेड बैंकिंग फाइनेंस एंड इंडस्ट्री बेसिकली इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप दीज एरिया बोथ इंडिया एंड रशिया विल म्यूचुअली कोऑर्डिनेट एंड द सिक्स एरिया इज टूरिज्म एंड कनेक्टिविटी सो दीज आर दिक्स मेन एजेंडाज ऑफ दिस डायलॉग so do remember about this dialogue that it took place in the national capital of india that is new delhi and do not forget to mention your answers that where did the first strategic dialogue took place i have already told you the country you have to tell me the city and now let's move on to the next question of today so before discussing this question friends let me tell you that we have also formulated a group on telegram in which you can enroll by using the link which is given in description box below so now let's discuss this third question of today that is which country has recently been declared measles free by who so there are five options algeria brazil argentina sri lanka and india so out of these five options it is option d sri lanka which has been declared as measles free country recently by who so the world health organization observed that this sri lanka has not witnessed any home grown cases of measles since 2016 so there was no case of measles in sri lanka since 2016 so friends do pay attention to this thing that when i said that sri lanka had not witnessed any case of measles since 2016 i mean here is that sri lanka had not witnessed any home grown cases of measles basically sri lanka had been successful to eliminate the virus of measles from its land completely and the occasional cases of measles which it had witnessed in the last 3 years were rather imported from abroad through those people who have traveled from abroad and sri lanka had quickly detected those cases of measles and it had responded those cases very quickly so that was all about this question but do remember this thing that recently who has declared sri lanka a measles free nation now the question for you is that you have to tell me that where is the headquarters of who it is a static question and you have to tell me this question in the comment section below moving ahead with the next question so the next question is which country has recently imposed a green tax on all outgoing flights so there are five options uae germany italy france and switzerland and out of these five options it is option d france which has declared a green tax on all of its outgoing flights so now there are two things that we need to discuss here first what is this green tax and why is this green tax imposed on all outgoing flights so this green tax is basically an additional tax of up to 18 euros or in dollar terms it is 20 dollars on plane tickets for all outgoing flight from airports in france and this additional tax will be effective from 2020 so that is the duration by which this tax will be effective so now why is this tax has been implemented basically in order to give a push to its green and environment friendly initiatives france has imposed this green tax and this green tax will be utilized towards funding the less polluting transportation projects so friends another important thing here is that france is not the only country to impose such a tax before france it is sweden which had already imposed a similar kind of tax on its flights in the year 2018 and sweden had imposed this tax in order to lessen the impact of air travel or the pollution levels in the country so friends that was all about this question but do remember this thing that recently france has imposed this green tax so now it's time to move on to the next question but friends if you are liking our video so do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications and now let's discuss this question so this question is which state has recently implemented witness protection bill 2018 quite important question from exam point of view and this 
is a quite latest information. So there are five options Arunachal Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh and Telangana and out of these five options it is option C Odisha which has recently implemented this witness protection bill 2018 and this bill is quite important so let us discuss this first. So in the year 2018 as this bill is mentioning Supreme Court has mandated all the states and union territories of India to implement this witness protection bill. Now what is this witness protection bill? Witness here stands for those witnesses who appear in the trials or who provide testimony in the courts. So in order to protect the witnesses from threats and violent activities, this witness protection bill was mandated by Supreme Court and this bill was formulated or basically was constituted by National Legal Services Authority and Bureau of Police Research and Development. So the two authorities which have developed this witness protection bill are National Legal Service Authority and Bureau of Police Research and Development. So under this bill, the face and identity of the witnesses are concealed to protect the witnesses in the state. So now friends, it's the comment time and this is the static question which I have put here for you so that you can answer it in the comment section below. So the question is, where is Ranthambore National Park located? So friends, this is the static question. So you have to answer this in the comment section below that where is this located? And it is quite a famous park. So Google it and then mention your answers in the comment section below that where is this national park located? And now it's time to conclude our morning tales for today. But before concluding, I would like to mention that you can also read the daily current affairs PDF by going to this link. So it is available on our website. And once you click on the current affairs, you can get all the latest current affairs in comprehensive pdfs thank you so much for watching our video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications thank you so much